With manual restorations, we tend to in-paint often thousands of damages on paintings by hand, and that requires a fair amount of color matching skill, and for particularly damaged works, that process can take months, years, and even decades. So being able to apply a digitally restored version of the painting to restore the work and do so in just a matter of hours, that's really unheard of and has the potential to dramatically reduce the expenses required to restore paintings that might not otherwise have conservation budgets available for them. The work itself has entailed constructing a digital facsimile of a painting that is restored and then deriving out what are the regions of damage that we need to cover up with the mask. That mask is then physically fabricated on a hair-thin plastic film that is made of very thin polymer membranes that are bound with conservation-grade varnish. And this mask it is a color-accurate printed mask of just the regions that need to be restored in the painting and is otherwise transparent everywhere else. And the mask is both removable directly and it is solvable with conventional conservation grade solvents. It's a much quicker process than a conventional manual restoration. Will this replace conservators? Absolutely not. Every painting has gone through various stages over the course of, of its existence. And often for paintings like the one in the study, which are half a millennium old, they've gone through so many different stages of damage that a conservator has to have a huge amount of background knowledge and skills and resources available to be able to conserve the work and ensure that it's preserved. And this technique changes none of that. What this gives conservators is more tools, more precision and flexibility in in-painting, and also enables them to work on more art than they were able to before. There are a lot of damaged paintings out there, and hopefully this technique can help conservators address art that's damaged that otherwise they wouldn't really try restoring in the first place.